Thank you for having us. Appreciate well, it. Also happening today, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is sending its hurricane hunter to five Gulf Coast cities to raise awareness about the upcoming hurricane season. Today's stop right here in Beaumont. Meteorologist Eric Brill is live at the Jack Brooks Regional Airport with an exclusive look. Eric. Dejanique, it has been a really fun day out here. A lot of different events, a lot of different things going on here. And there's always one main purpose as to uh, why we have different events like this before hurricane season does start. I'm here with meteorologist Rob Megna. He is over at the Lake Charles sector, and that is within Beaumont's area. So Rob, what is the reason why we have uh, all this activity going on today? Well, quite simply, Eric, we're here today to raise awareness for the upcoming hurricane season, which starts on June 1st. We're giving um, plenty of advice on things you can do to prepare for hurricanes, as well as letting people know the hazards and risks that are associated with these storms. Makes sense. And as far as the different risk and things like that, people should be prepared for the upcoming season with it only being a couple of weeks away. What are some of the different things that you would recommend to people uh, to have some of those different uh, supplies, things of that nature that they should have for this upcoming season? Well, some things you can do that we've been stressing today is, you know, make sure your uh, insurance is updated. Make sure you have taken the precautions to make sure your home is protected. Make sure that you have the supplies available for when the worst case scenario happens. And of course, the big thing that we have today are the different Hurricane Hunter planes that we have here. Uh, two different planes here for two different reasons. Have you been able to go on both of these planes and what do you think of them? I have, Eric. And they're absolutely amazing. They're really impressive aircrafts and they're crucial to getting the data that we need to be able to project the past of these storms because they take place over the ocean and the observations are really sparse. So uh, they're really crucial to be even, being able to uh, help in the forecast. That's one thing, guys, that not only weather models, but different planes of this nature, they essentially launch our uh, weather balloons out into the Gulf of Mexico or into the Atlantic Ocean so we have a better idea exactly what's going on out in the open waters. Reporting live over at Jack Brooks Airport, I'm meteorologist Eric Brill. Dejanique, back over to you. After the